Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Project Zomboid, shall we? Well, I've been wanting to play this game for a while. It's been on my wish list, and our good friend of the channel, Hella, was kind enough to donate this, and I'm so excited to give it a shot. Thank you so much, Hella. This is going to be awesome. I have never played the game. I've really tried to avoid seeing anything on it. So this will be just kind of my first time ever booting it up and experiencing it. I understand this is, you know, still being developed, not completed yet. Uh, but I'm excited to try anyway. So we're going to dive in and look at the tutorial. These are the end times. Not good. There was no hope of survival. Even worse. Welcome to Project Zomboid. Soon you'll die horribly. <laughs> no one will mourn you and you will be swiftly forgotten. Everything will have been for nothing. So let's make sure you go out fighting. Press space to continue. All right. So I'm going to zoom in. Uh, first things first, you can zoom with your mouse wheel or the uh, equal or minus keys. Okay, by the... I see. Okay. All right. Um, and let's get a bird's eye view of the lonely place where you're about to die. Zoom out. Okay, let's get that bird's eye view. Now zoom back in again. Here we go. You're great at this. Thank you. Let's have a look at your character information. Click the flashing heart over on the left okay now i'm gonna have to say uh i am playing this on and you know, using my monitor's resolution so it's at 4k which might make things a little small i cranked the font size i could make it a little bit bigger i think but uh for right now this is what we're going with i might change the resolution if i feel like it's still too small but here we are all right so here you see your health status Okay, uh, scratches, bites, bleeding, broken limbs, all listed for your convenience. It's also here that you can bandage and treat your wounds, all right? So press space to continue, it says. I'm going to move this around, you know, just so I can see it behind this killer raccoon, all right? Do you know another good panel? Yes, the skills panel. Click on the skills tab, please, all right? Awesome. It really will be such a shame to lose you. This panel shows your points in various different survival skills. Press space to continue. In-game activities build up skill points that level you up in each discipline. Learning speeds can be increased by reading books and watching certain TV shows. Ultimately, your brain will become cold, dead sludge. But in the meantime, why not learn carpentry? Press space to continue. Okay, yeah, let's learn carpentry. Time to take those training wheels off lady close the character panel by clicking the cross and we'll move on to the next exciting aspect of survivor life fantastic now i will say i've played uh you know cataclysm dark days ahead and i'm immediately getting vibes of that except of course um this is you know an isometric <laughs> game with much more uh modern features to it so we'll see how they compare all right i'm gonna close the skills panel i guess i just click that it's looking at stuff hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse you'll turn to face any angle oh right you can only see in the direction you're facing makes sense swift and unexpected death can come from behind whether from the undead host or your fellow man all right so yeah there i go i'm turning myself around that's interesting there's a piano good very important in survival and you know i have to say the graphics and the the isometric presentation of the game it feels like i'm playing the sims but it's gone horribly wrong like this is not me you know uh decorating my house this is zombies coming to kill me let's get some blood pumping before it congeals and rots move around with the wasd keys why not walk into the adjacent room it's definitely safe it looks safe let's look around there's blood 
Okay. I walked into the circle here. See, told you it was safe. Uh, now let's strafe. Holding the right mouse button will let you look around while walking. This will help you line up your attacks. Oh, I see. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, dead person alert. You're going to have to do something, uh, some looting if you want to survive an attack. Head back to the mark counter in the kitchen and we'll learn to steal. All right, let's go steal. Okay. Um, oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to change the uh the resolution at some point. The the icons are just so small. Okay, so uh I don't see anything in there. I headed back I I made it back here, but um I see nothing in here. So, anyway, um All right. Oh, here we go. Starvation can be delayed by looting food from the homes of the recently deceased. Move your mouse over the loot panel and expand it. It's a nice kind of nod to Beetlejuice. All right. Um, oh, here we go now. There's a dead mouse and an empty bottle. Oh, God. Loot all. Just take it all. See those moodles to the right? Uh, moodles? You mean there's some noodles or food? Looks like someone's got a rumbly tummy. Okay. Oh, are these Moodles? Time to eat. Right-click on the dead mouse in your inventory to see interact options. All right, I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to eat it all. Delicious. Oh, God. I'm sorry. We did that. That's better, apart from the nausea. To learn about what each Moodle means, move your cursor over them. Okay, so I ha I'm queasy. And I still am hungry. Oh, hey, better fill up the bottle before the water supply is cut off. Right-clicking items in the world will bring up interaction options. Move to the sink and right-click to fill the bottle. Okay, fill it. All right, yep, I'm filling it up. You automatically drink from water that's carried in your main inventory. Let's see what's in other cupboards. Open that awesome loot panel again. Okay. Okay, I've got it open. Every container within reach can be open with a left click on the flashing container icons. So these containers over here, all right? So there's this, this, and it's showing me like which one I have selected, basically, of the options. But I need to move over here so I can, uh, well, it's near enough a, a weapon. All right, there's a frying pan. Right-click the frying pan and select Equip Primary. Okay, so we're going to right-click it, and we're going to say Equip Primary. And we took it, and she's putting it on, and we've got a frying pan. Oh, my gosh, is it getting hot in here? Let's pop open the window and get some fresh air while your lungs are still inflated. Walk to the flashing window behind you. Uh-oh. This is a terrible idea. Why would I open the window so a zombie can come in? A zombie in a hat. I see that. Let's get out there. Pressing E will interact with objects in front of you, most notably doors and windows. Press E to open the window. Okay. I've opened it. Let's go. Climb out the window and beat that corpse back to death. Hold E to climb through the window. I did it. All right, cool. She hasn't seen us. Holding the right mouse button will ready your weapon for an attack. Um, okay, so... Sometimes with the tutorial, like, I'm pushing the button, and it and it just moves to the next tooltip. So they're going to obviously polish this tutorial for release. So I'm kind of, like, accidentally... I need to read everything before I do anything. I'm, I'm kind of, like, doing it along with it, and uh, it's jumping the gun. Hold the right mouse button and move to strafe up to that fetid hat woman. And crest, push the left mouse button to attack when ready. Remember, hold the right mouse right mouse button to uh, ready the frying pan and then left click to swing it oh my god we did it I'm hitting you again and making a big sound all right are you dead take that mom oh is that her mom god creepy you could also press space to shove her but right now we need to go for the head the isometric cursor is vital to this press space to continue uh oh my frying can broke your mother's skull was really thick god it was my mom in a hat let's borrow the hunting knife we planted in her back earlier did we do that oh maybe before the tutorial started 
we had to fight because she was a zombie or maybe she wasn't a zombie oh god um loot and equip the hunting knife from the mother's body right click the hunting knife in the loot panel to show the equip options all right so i'm just gonna take everything and then um i'm gonna go into my jane doe's inventory and i'm going to right click it to equip it i'm putting it on i've got it you hear that there's more move up to the gate in the tall fence press e to open the gate or click it with the mouse button when you're close yeah but i'm not ready i'm gonna like can i wear some stuff i kind of want to open my character panel um uh, they don't want me to do that right now that's fine i'll do it all right so uh and we'll i guess we'll open this and oh there's somebody in the garden all right let's go over here oh the game just got really far zoomed out uh, vegetation, vegetative shambler in the vegetable garden, but he's got enough brain function to see you. If you sneak, you'll be much, you'll make much less noise and you'll be less visible. Press C, okay, to crouch. Wow, it's like you're invisible. I mean, we've maxed out your skills here, but that is impressive. Cool. If you sneak close to a wall, fence, or vehicle, you'll crouch lower and reduce your visibility even more. Sneak round the corner to the low gate in the fence. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna do this. Hi, Shambler. So silent and so deadly, like a doomed ninja. Stay crouched and open the gate with E or click it with the left mouse button. Alright. There's some special forces stuff right here. Strafe close behind him with the knife. Your arm will raise to show you're in a safe place to attack. Alright. Strafe by holding the route right mouse button and attack when you're directly behind it. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, so she raised her left arm, it looks like. Oh my god, you did it. No more daddy issues. Wow. Forget Freudian. We just killed them both. Now take his bag and put it on. Make sure you're standing over the corpse and right-click the large backpack in the loot panel to show interaction options. All right, we're going to loot it all. Uh, oh, I got to get closer, I guess. Right-click the uh, backpack. Let's see, we've got... Uh, loot it all. Loot it all. Everything. Blue Speedo? God, that's upsetting. Oh, oh, I see. I... I messed up. I I didn't right click the back pocket. I just picked it up. Anyway, um I'm gonna equip it on my back. Alright, now I'm good. You've wanted this large backpack for years, and now it's yours. Let's see what's inside. Find the flashing large backpack icon on the side of the inventory panel and click on it. Okay, so it's over here. And there ooh, there's a shotgun. A loaded shotgun and some bandages. We always do the best for you. Equip it in both hands all right so we're gonna equip it and now we've got a shock oh my sweet moses the window in dad's shed just broke right on time vault the fence and let's check it out running at the fence will make you jump over it automatically run using left shift and run towards it all right oh my god i did vault it sweet let's zoom back in dad was a prepper but he didn't prepare for you did he let's take his gear Ignore the glass shards. Climb through the broken window by standing next to it, holding E. All right. Did it. Oh, no. Your hands are bleeding. Yep. Die hard. Uh, the broken glass in the window shredded them. Who saw that coming? Open the health panel by pressing H or clicking on the icon. The bandages from the backpack will help. Right-click the red text that's recording the hurdy hand, left hand, and apply a bandage. All right. So I'm going to just go bandage, and we are putting bandages on, and we did it. Let's check outside in case there's more moldering flesh automatons move to the curtained window. Yeah, but shouldn't I look around for some of the stuff in here? There's got to be stuff, right? All right, we're going in. Curtains stop you from seeing out, but they also stop the horde seeing in. Open the curtain. It's probably safe. Right mouse button to interact or hold left shift and left click the curtain. All right, um, open it. Oh my, two of them, three if you count 
your sister on the floor there. Gosh, this is upsetting. Better get some improved protection from their nails and teeth. All right, press space to continue. Thicker clothing and headwear helps protect from bites and scratches. Put on what you think is best for a final encounter. Once you're ready, head through the door. All right, well, let's go over here and let's look inside. Oh, nice. All right, so let's go ahead and... Um, now, how much clothing can I equip? This is a good question. Uh, wear it. Wear the lumberjack shirt. And then put on a leather jacket. I don't know if it goes on top. Uh, and put on the boots. And let's see what kind of pants we got. Um, yeah. Camo pants me. Alright. Uh, let's see. Baseball cap. Visor backward. Um, put on face. Alright, now look at me. I got like a bandana. I got a backwards cap. Man, I look pretty sweet. Um, Alright, awesome. I have a bunch of stuff on. Hopefully this will help me. And we'll click on this. I mean, I don't know if it matters if I crouch or not. I'm not trying to loot. Oh, it's right. I push E to open it. Okay. Remember that you can sneak to make less noise. Press C to crouch. And move up to the wired fence. Okay. All right, here I go. I'm creeping. I'm creeping. All right, we creeped in. We creeped over. If you have high enough skills and aren't exhausted, then tall fences can be climbed. You have those skills. Press E to climb over the fence. We did it. So athletic. Time to make some noise. Ready the shotgun. Aim at the rotting dead men by holding the right mouse button. Here they come. A green outline shows a good chance of connecting with the target. I'm just gonna shoot. They're dead. So sad. Never mind. Soon y'all get back together. Every zombie in the forest heard the shotgun and they're coming for you. Um, press E to climb back over the fence and escape. Okay. Oh my god. I made a mistake. They're getting closer. You know how to run, but here's how to sprint. Um, sprint to the marker by the outhouse now. Alright. Left alt toggles it. Okay. Alright. I'm at the outhouse, right? Are you asking me to go someplace else? I don't know. I made it. I'm not, um... I see. Oh, sprinting is different from running. It's even faster. I get it. Last advice. If you ever get a zombie bite or fear one is imminent, then press Q and you'll swallow the antidote. Press Q to take the antidote. Hey, I'm over here. Only kidding. All hope is gone. There is no antidote. Have fun. Oh, I whistled. Okay. Well. Let's see what's going on now. Can they get in here? Am I... Oh, God. They've broken the fence. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Oh boy, this is hilarious. They're getting us. We didn't make it. You died. For the help in the main menu, press F1 to open the survival guide. Return to the main menu and then survive the Nox event for real. Okay. Let's go to the main menu. Well, that was pretty fun. So let's see what this game is like for real, as they say. We're going to go ahead and do a solo run. 
And let's see, what's our options? Playstyle, Apocalypse. Stealth, Focus, Short, Lifespan, Combat, Best Avoided. Survival. Powerful Combat. Longer Lifespan. A Challenging Playstyle based on... Okay. Um, builder is Construction, Exploration, and Farming Focus. And Custom Sandbox. Interesting. A really CDDA. Um, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So they're like throwing a nod to the game that I mentioned earlier right away. That's cool. Um, all right. So no, no. We could do a challenge or we could just do a play style. So this is based on the previous survival mode. A more relaxed experience. This sounds a lot of fun, but let's just try Survivor for now. It seems like the standard, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to go with it. We're going to say, uh, where can we start? Kentucky. Muldraw is a small town in the areas the locals know as Knox country. Oh, so maybe... No, yeah. In the dead center of the state of Kentucky, it grew as an army town, but now welcomes folks from all walks of life. Some commuters to the bigger towns nearby, some military families, and some living below the poverty line. It's a small place filled with good people, not to mention Spiffo's finest chicken and biscuits this side of Kentucky. Sure, not much happens here, but that doesn't mean Muldraw is... Life is dull, okay? Cool. Alright, so this is what I was thinking about at the beginning of the game before I started which was alright well like in Cataclysm or something you pick your traits but it, it, it almost looked in the tutorial like everybody started the same and then you just leveled up based on you trained but this is cool um, so can we just go random uh, we can so let's see what happens if I go random uh, for example so I'm a chef which gives me a bonus to cooking maintenance and short blades and then I'm unfit <laughs> uh, I'm illiterate I don't like going outside and I'm cowardly wow but I'm somehow also strong very strange um, uh, try it again pacifist axe man Interesting. What was my background that they picked? Lumberjack. Okay. Um, so I'm a I'm a lumberjack that's agoraphobic. They really like giving you agoraphobic for some reason. Um, so I'm good with an axe. I'm good at fitness and I'm good at strength. I guess. Um. I'm going to take out Resilient, and I'm going to take out uh, Agoraphobic. So, this way, uh, I'm just a... Do I really want to be a pacifist? Not really. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. Okay, fine. I mean, let's just try it. It, I'm a pacifist axe man who's lucky. But I don't really care about being lucky. So I, I'm going to just remove that and remove this. And we're just going to go with Lumberjack. Like, I was out in the woods. The apocalypse hit me. Oh my god. Here we go. Next. Um, Alright. And uh, my forename is Doctor. And my surname is Incompetent. And I'm a male, and um, I don't need a hat, but I definitely need. Uh, uh, you can't be. All right. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go with. Uh, what kind of haircut can we have? What looks right? That actually looks not bad. There we go. Um, yep, beard. 
is pretty good. There it is. There it is. All right. Uh, beard type. Scruffy. Uh, just full beard. Hey, that's actually pretty good. That's actually really close. Um, can I wear sunglasses? No. Unfortunately. I mean, I can wear these reading glasses, but that looks ridiculous. So we're going to go with none. And uh, I have a lumberjack shirt because I'm an axe man. My body shape is very strange on the hips, but we'll just be okay with that, I guess. And let's do it. End times. It's a Crystallis reference. I'll take it. No hope. This is how you died. I like that they're up front. That this is like, just going to be bad. All right. Oh, so now this is like a second tutorial baked in. Um, this is the survival guide that they say you can just push F1 to open up. Uh, and don't run. Use left shift to jog, left alt to sprint, but be careful. Your noticeable crouch. Yes. Okay. So I feel good about some of this. I'll open this back up if I need it. Yeah. Okay. F1 brings it up. And here's my character panel. And here I am. Uh, let's see. Can I resize these windows at all? No. Nah. Okay, let's see. Uh, all right, so there's other buttons over here. Like, this is my inventory. This is my self. This is my crafting. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting into Cataclysm. Um, interesting. I think because I have the font size, like, jacked up, the UI is, like... Everything isn't scaled exactly correctly uh, to match it. Okay, and let's see. What is this? Pick up, place, rotate, disassemble. Uh, investigate the area. The investigate area window shows your zone. This impacts on the loot that can be found. Hover your mouse over the window to inspect the loot categories that are available in your current zone. If you see question marks, then there's nothing of use that can be found. All right. Um, urban area. There's some common food and animals. Stones and firewood are rare. Okay. I'm just going to close these panels and I'm going to look around. Man, I have no flashlight. Uh, I'm in... <laughs> what do I actually have? Alright, so let's look at myself. And I have baggy jeans and the belt. And some clothing and stuff. But I have some, some keys, I guess. And that's it. So that's not very much. And this is the mini-map. Of the area and what is this belt belt back oh god all right so i don't know when bad stuff is going to strike so i'm going to be like crouching i'm gonna look in here what do we got anything around here okay there's canned tuna definitely grab that uh a fork it's junk uh okay let's look over here let's look in here oh here we go all kinds of good stuff. Um, baking pan, frying pan. Well, I guess we can... Do I have an axe already? I, mean, I thought maybe I'd start with one because I'm an axe and all, but maybe not. Uh, let's see. 
temperature, protection, health, skills, info. Um, okay. Nah. No, I don't have anything. Okay. So then that means I need to go over here and I'm going to need to like equip this frying pan so I at least have some kind of weapon. And let's see. Uh, we want to take all of this food. So just loot all of that jerky and stuff. All the food. Start. Yep. Get it. And then let's see. Uh, these are cooking items, which if we wanted to be good at cooking, we could. And let's see. Uh, we're next to the fridge. There's fresh food, which, you know, you can take. Uh, but it spoils quickly. Uh, all right. Let's see what we got. Looks like a, an old TV. Anything on the bookshelf? Uh, there's a skill book, Trapping Volume 1. Okay. Uh, read it. Cool. Um, it gives you boredom reduction and stress reduction. Word search back. I mean, is, that, is stress even an issue for me right now? Um, I just pushed C. I didn't know that that was going to be like, he's doing that. Um, let me see. Overall body status, okay. Exercise. I can exercise. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, info. Um, skills. I'm good with an axe. I'm good at fitness and strength. temperature and stuff. I mean, that's like, it's cool, but what about my boredom? Like, where is that shown? It's not shown on my my health. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna walk around. I'm gonna look around. Be like, what's going on here? What's going on in here? I need a flashlight. It's too dark. Alright, um, open it up. Alright, anything good here? Bandage. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that. Uh, don't need anything else. Is there anything else in here? Adhesive bandage. Yeah, get that. Grab it. Uh, the tweezers might be good. Uh-oh. Oh, a zombie was out there. We saw one. Alright. It's not good. Alright, but we're sneaking, so it didn't see us. I'm gonna just be okay with that. This is the loot panel. Interesting. Uh, okay. Okay. Pause. Metal work. Alright. Read it. Skill book, electrician. Read it. By the way, I don't know if this is even worth my time, but yes, first aid, read it. Get all the skill books. Auto mechanics, do it. I don't get it. Oh, he tried. He's like, I don't get it. Uh, that's going to take a while. We don't care. Time is passing. We're reading this book. I got no keys. Hmm. Now what's going to happen? I did that. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh yeah, you can resize it. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Uh... Okay. Let's look around. I don't know if I need to be crouching in my own home. Or, I mean, I'm guessing this is my house. I, I don't know what we got here. Video game. That's sweet. Alright. We got boxes. There's suit pants. And they're just worse than what we have. And then there's a needle, which is a tool. Maybe we need that. I don't know. Grab it. Need a backpack, tell you that much. Alright. Painkillers, absolutely get those. And bandage, yes. Sleeping tablets, I guess. Sheet, sure, could be good. And, oh wow, I'm almost full up on inventory though, I think. If I'm reading that correctly. That's okay. Can I click this on? Yeah. Okay, you can turn on the lights. It probably attracts zombies, but that's cool. Alright, close that door. I don't want them seeing in here. Come on now. And what do we got? Duct tape. Yeah, absolutely. Take that. Light bulb, take it. Whatever. Could be good. I don't know. Alright, I need to get to, like, my garage or something because... Uh, slightly thirsty. I got dry mouth. Alright. Uh, okay, go to type. Type. Uh, let's see. Do we have any water? Uh... Not really. Salt. Meh. I didn't mean to get that. Can I use the sink? Not really. Alright, we need to get something to drink. We're in terrible shape. Alright, we're gonna, um... Close the curtains. No one sees in here. All right, let's just go outside. This is gonna be fine. Now, I'm an ax man, so there's gotta be a shed around here somewhere. I mean, my house is nice. Bricks and everything, looks good. I got some grilling supplies. Mm, nothing in there. All right. Here's the shed. I knew we had one. Alright, open it up. Close it. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, well, we have tailoring. Okay. Uh, just go ahead and read it. And read that. Oh, trapping volume 2 takes a while. There's 260 pages. Okay, fine. Um, just grab it then. We'll we'll do that later. Did you get it? All right, and then what's over here? Empty gas can. Metal bar. That's got to be better. Equip primary. Actually, we don't know if it's better. Fairly heavy load, carrying a little too much. All right, so let's go into our inventory, and let's see. I'm equipped. I'm equipped currently with the uh, the bar, right? And it does that much damage. It says on the damage bar. All right. Um, but what about uh, my 
other weapon, which was the frying pan. How much damage does that do? All right, let's kind of drop this then. We don't need it. Um, equip it. Oh, I'm put. I have it on my back. I see. So I'm carrying the metal bar on my back. If I wanted to, but I also want to maybe have it out. I don't know. Just in case, it's like a pipe. This isn't a bar. This is a pipe, baby. All right, sweet. So I didn't have an axe in my garage, which you know upsets me somewhat. But we do have nails and duct tape. But our load is, you can see how bad it's getting. And I even dropped some stuff. So we need to drop some other stuff. We have some, these books are too heavy, I think. So what we're gonna do is just put it here. We're gonna store some books here for later. Right now, they're just a little bit too heavy to just walk around with. All right, so we cleared up a bunch of weight Yeah, all right, let's just go ahead and and put it on the shelf. Here, stop reading. Move. Go ahead, put it on the shelf. Put it on that shelf. Put it away. Put it away. There we go. Now we can walk around on our weights a little better. All right, so I don't see anything on the map that's like too much more dangerous. Here's our shed. Here's our house, right? So, uh, I need a red pen. Oh, I need to pick up a pencil so I can even write on my map. That's cool. That's fun. I saw a pencil, actually, right in here, didn't I? I swore I did. It was somewhere. Let's see. Pencil. Yes, get this. Grab it. Sweet. All right, now, let me open that map again. And now I can be like, hey, um, I'm gonna, you know, write... Uh, I'm gonna put a... A, a, pen, a house mark like right there and I'm going to add a note right well that's kind of big but this is fun this is fun I, I like this uh, and I'm going to add a note that's like right here I guess and it's going to say shed okay and then I'm just going to be like, all right, we're good. And so now I have it marked where it's like the shed. And now what's going to happen is if I look at my map, I, you can see that I've like scribbled on it and that's where the, my stuff is. So I'm going to store stuff in this shed for now. Sweet. So I've stored stuff in the shed and we did the tutorial and we're getting ready to go out and die. And I think this is a good place to end this first episode of this game. There is so much to learn here. I wasn't sure, like, you know, how deep it was going to get at first. I was like, oh, maybe it's like a simplified cataclysm. No, it's very much cataclysm, uh, you know, just with spiffier graphics and a lot of uh, new features as well uh, that make it fantastic. And I'm really excited to die a whole bunch and get into this. But right now, I want to say thank you, um, everyone, so much for watching. And I'm curious, you know, what do you think of this game? Like, what are your thoughts and feelings about the game? Have you played it before? Do you know anything about it? Do you like it? Do you have any tips for me? Uh, I'd love to chat with you in the comments below about this game. Thank you so much again. Have an excellent day, everyone. Take care.